Are you ready? It's sing-along time. Oh, in the day, in the day. or in the, in the night, when things go wrong, when things go right, the God of everything wants to hear how you're doing. We can talk to him about our life. Oh, we can pray. Oh, every day. Oh, we can pray. Pray every day. In the day or in the night, when things go wrong, when things go right. We can pray. Everything wants to know how you're doing. We can talk to him. How about that? Oh, we can pray. Oh, every day. Oh, we can pray. Pray every day. When you feel joy, when you feel sad, when things are good, when things go bad, we can pray. Pray. Does. Yes, he does. Jesus wants to talk to you. Jesus wants to walk with you. Are you listening? Are you listening? Oh, we can pray. Oh, every day. Oh, we can pray. We can pray every day. Oh, we can pray every day. Oh, we can pray every day. Welcome, friends. My name is Duan. And this month, we're talking about the word listen. What things do you like to listen to? I like to listen to music. Do you like to listen to music and play some cool things? <laughs> that was fun. What else do you like to listen to? How about animal sounds? Do you like to listen to animal sounds? Let's see if you can guess what this sound is. What is that? Is that a monkey? A dog? Oh yes, it's ducks! They're ducks! Okay, that was fun. Let's do this again. Do you have another sound for me? Listen. Do you know what that is? Is that a flute? No! You're right, it's bells. <gasps> this is so much fun. Okay, let's see if they have another one. Do you have another sound for us? Puppy? <laughs> no, puppies don't giggle. Oh, I know. Do you know? Do you know? It's a baby. Oh. A 
Okay, do you know what I like to listen to as well? Rain falling. Let's close our eyes and see if we can hear the rainfall. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Did you hear it? <gasps> that sounded so soothing. This reminds me of our big idea. Our big idea this month is listen to God. We can listen to God in so many different ways. We can listen to God when we read our Bible. We can listen to God with our church family. And we can also listen to God when he whispers to our heart. You know what? Let's whisper the big idea together. We can do it three times. We'll start on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Listen to God. Listen to God. Listen to God. Excellent! Okay, now it's time for you to listen to Natalie, cause it's story time. Story time! Hey friends, I'm so glad to be with you to tell you the story today of a little baby named Moses and his older sister Miriam. This story is from the book of the Bible called Exodus, Exodus 2, 1 to 10. And it goes like this. A very long time ago, God's special family, they're called the Israelites, had become slaves in a country called Egypt. And Egypt had a mean ruler, a king that was called the Pharaoh. Now the Pharaoh didn't want the Israelites to grow too strong, so he made a very sad and bad rule. The rule was that all baby boys would have to be killed so they couldn't grow up. I know it's a very sad and bad rule, isn't it? But at that time, there was a family that had just had a baby boy named Moses. Moses's mom tried to keep him hidden, but when that wasn't possible any longer, she made a special basket to put him in and float him down the river in hopes that someone would find him and rescue him. Moses' older sister Miriam followed the basket from a distance to see what would happen mm. and to watch over her little brother. At the same time, when baby Moses was floating down the river, the Pharaoh's own daughter, who was grown up, the princess, was going down to the river to have a bath. Yeah, it's kind of silly, right? They used to take baths in the river. The princess saw the baby in the basket and he was crying. <laughs> she felt sorry for him. And Moses' older sister, Miriam, ran up to the princess and said, should I go find a woman to take care of this baby for you? That was quick thinking. And the princess said, yes, please do. So Miriam went and got Moses' own mother to take care of the baby for the princess. And, this is cool, the princess paid Moses' mother to do so. Later on, when Moses was a bit older, Hello. the princess took him to live with her as her own son in the palace. And that is not the end of Moses' story, but we'll hear more next time. For now, you guys are gonna head out to do an activity. See you next time. Activity time. Oh. <laughs> hey, Paige. Hi, Joanne. What you doing? I'm listening to music. I love it so much. It just makes me wanna dance. Oh my goodness, that looked like so much fun. Actually, you know what? We should play a game with our friends. How about, okay, you guys are gonna have to listen We'll listen to music, and then when the music's playing, we'll dance. But we have to listen, because when the music stops, 
will freeze. <gasps> that sounds like so much fun. All right, friends, are you ready? Let's do this. Did you freeze? Let's do it again! Did you guys freeze? Awesome job, let's dance. <laughs> Did you get it? Ah, oh, that was great. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Okay? Oh, did you guys freeze? Great job, everyone. You did awesome. <laughs> that was great. I have one more thing for you. Now that we're standing still, let's take a deep breath in and out. And let's tell God that we love him. And let's try to listen quietly with our hearts for a few seconds, okay? Okay. All right, friends, let's go ahead and take a deep breath. All right, now let's go ahead and tell God that we love him. I love you, God. I love you, God. That was so nice. It's Keyverse time. Keyverse. Hi friends, I'm Paige. Are you ready to learn the Keyverse? It goes like this. Be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46.10. All right, today we are going to use our fingers to help us be still and quiet while we say the verse. We are going to use our finger to help trace the fingers on our other hand while we say, be still and know that I am God. Then we are going to open our hands up like a book for Psalms 46.10. All right, let's do it again. Be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46.10. Great job, friends. Try to remember that this week. And maybe you can teach it to someone at home, too. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we do open them, shut them? Are you ready? Follow me. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Them. Give them a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, fold them in your lap. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all the different ways that you speak to us and help us to be good listeners to hear what you have to say to us. Help us to love you and love others well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was good seeing you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. Oh, we can pray every day to God up above, of God full of love. We can pray.